Good morning, my dear children. Welcome to today's virtual session of Eighth Standard Civics. Let us begin the session with the quote: "The more you know about the past, the better prepared you are for the future." Children, with this thought in mind, I would like to introduce you. the today's topic for civics that is the state government so it is necessary to open your textbook you should open history civics textbook page number 83 and you should listen to me carefully children in the last chapters already the chapters we which we are covered that we understand the nature of union parliament and union executive we were also introduced to the integrated judicial system in india the last topic that i discussed about the integrated judicial system of our country in this topic means in the central government sorry the state government we will study the government of constituent states or state government so mainly in this topic we will come to know about the state government children in the federal system the government exist at two levels children on the screen you can see a table is given in that particular table also here we can see that the federal system it works but it exist at two levels one is central government and another is state government now union or central government that is president he is the constitutional head and in state government governor now children you can see here that uh, the legislature executive and judiciary also here in state government we have legislature executive and judiciary now for union or central government the legislatures are lok sabha and rajya sabha executives prime minister and council of ministers and judiciary supreme court then high court and for state government legislatures that is vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad for executive chief minister and other council ministers and for judiciary that is high court and lower courts so it is the federal system of our country and children federal that is the central government works at the national level and the state government works at the regional or state level children now i will discuss about the formation of constituent states that india has a large geographic expanse with a multicultural population there is diversity in language religion ways of life and regional characteristics it would not have been possible to govern from a centralized place 
Therefore, the constitution has adopted a federal setup for India. It has decided to form the states on the basis of language. Accordingly, linguistic reorganization of states took place. The nature of government machinery in all states of India is same. However, Jambu and Kashmir is an exec exception. Let us now study the government in states with reference to Maharashtra. So children, considering the vast ge geographical area and the multicultural population of India, it would not have been possible to govern the country from a centralized place. In addition to this, there is diversity in language, religion, ways of life and regional characteristics in India. Therefore, the constitution has adopted a federal setup for India. It, has, it was decided to form the states on the basis of language. Except in Jambu and Kashmir, the nature of government machinery is the same in all states. Children, India has 28 constituent states and the state governments have the responsibility of the governance of the states. So children, at present India has 20, not 29 constituent states and 7 union territories. At now, India has 20, 28 constituent states and 9 union territories. All constituent states have legislative assemblies and out of nine union territories, only Delhi and Poducherry have legislative assemblies, that is Vidhan Sabha, and Jambu and Kashmir, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh F has that is bicameral legislatures means both the houses are there. Children, so now in our country we have 28 states and nine union territories. Like the parliament at the central level, every state has its own legislature. But only seven states in India have two houses, that is bicameral legislatures. Maharashtra has a bicameral legislature. The members of state legislatures are known as members of legislative assembly, that is MLA, or member of legislative council, that is MLC. So children, Maharashtra has a bicameral legislature having legislative assembly that is Vidhan Sabha and legislative council Vidhan Parishad. 
<coughs> and also uh, the members of the state legislatures are known as members of legislative assembly that is known as mla and member of legislative council that is mlc so children jammu and kashmir bihar uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh the other seven states that have bicameral legislatures means both the houses are there both the houses means vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad maharashtra has a bicameral legislature like the parliament at the central level every state has its own legislature but only seven states in india have two houses that is bicameral legislature children legislature of maharashtra has two houses one is known as vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad so children legislature legislature is responsible to make laws and legislature of maharashtra the state maharashtra has two houses one is known as vidhan sabha and another is known as vidhan parishad children you came to know about the legislature of the central government or the union government that is lok sabha and rajya sabha and in case of state government the legislature that is vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad one is known as legislative assembly and another is known as legislative council now vidhan sabha this is the first house of maharashtra legislature 